Hi, Dom. How are you? Hey, Terrence. Thanks for coming by. No problem. I heard you were great BCBA. Yes, I am a BCBA. Okay, and I have about 20 questions for you if you have time today. Sure, I have time for 20 questions. Come on in. Don't stand at the door. What's going on? What did you go to school for? I went to school for psychology. I got my bachelor's in psychology, my master's in psychology, and I have a certification in behavior analysis. But that's not the route you have to go in order to be a BCBA. That's just the route I took. Okay. And what is underrated about being a BCBA? Uh, most underrated is the relationships that you build with the parents and the caregivers. It's nothing like being a part of somebody's team and a part of somebody's village. It's a good feeling. Okay, nice. What's the most challenging part of becoming a BCBA? The most challenging part about becoming a BCBA, I would say, is the coursework. It's really hard. The supervision hours and passing the actual exam. Okay. What's the most challenging once you become a BCBA? Once you become a BCBA, um, I would say when you can't predict behaviors, when you can't find the function of a behavior, that just, ugh, ugh. Ah can't sleep at night when that happens. Session notes is one of the most challenging parts of the job. Uh, a lot of people would think the behaviors are challenging. The behaviors are not challenging. The behaviors are only challenging when society is not open or accepting of an individual's behavior. So that's considered a challenge for me. Okay. Okay. Nice. What do you have planned for the rest of the day? Well, my sister's here, so I'm probably going to go grab a drink with her after this, and we're going to just, you know, talk about business like we usually do. <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? <gasps> my celebrity crush? Well, I'm married. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> what sets you apart from most BCBAs? Um, well, I would say it's my personality. Um, it's my online persona. Um, it's my transparency in stating that I am a BCBA who works with individuals with autism, but I also have a child with autism, and how I navigate both of those avenues 24-7. And I would say it's my fashion, which is what sets me apart from other BCBAs. Okay, speaking of fashion, because you look totally bomb today. Thank I love you. the blue. I'm sorry, I just got to answer this email real oh, quick. Go ahead. listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I love, dear, I love the blues. You look actually ab absolutely fabulous right now. Thank you. <laughs> Burberry down. I love <laughs> <laughs> Since we're talking about fashion, um, what what is the goal when you get dressed? Okay, the goal when I get dressed is to be comfortable because we, we work with a clientele where you never know if you're going to be jumping on a trampoline or running behind someone or just rolling on the floor. You just never know with what we do on a regular basis. So I like to be comfortable, but I also like to stand out as a professional because not a lot of people know who a BCBA is or what we do. And if we are in charge of a very serious situation out in the community, I don't want to look like I'm 12 years old. I don't want to look like that I'm not the professional that's in charge of the situation. So um, I like to look professional. I like to be comfortable. Um, and then I'm also a fashionista, so I kind of just zhuzh it up a little bit. I just zhuzh it up <laughs> just every now and then. You look absolutely But fabulous. I do love scrubs. You know, some BCBAs, some people in the field, they wear scrubs. Just whatever makes you feel professional and comfortable. Okay, nice, nice. What is your favorite TV show? Mm, favorite TV show would have to be a toss up between Insecure, because I'm binge watching it probably for the fifth time, <laughs> um, and A Different World, season three and above. Mm, nice. Those are two great shows. I know, right? Two great shows. Go Hillman. <laughs> <laughs> I always wanted to go to Hillman. <laughs> That's not a real school, by the way. <laughs> if you were not a BCBA, what would you be doing in your life? Well, if I were to play it safe, and if I were not a BCBA, I would probably still be in the field. Somehow, I would probably be a director of a non-for-profit, um, still giving back in, in some way or another. Um, if I were to take a more bolder approach and um, tap into what little Dominique wanted to be when she grew up, I would probably be in Hollywood somewhere um, shooting a pilot representing BCBAs in film, in theater, um, if possible, um, maybe having my own 
talk show where I'm giving advice and information from a behavior analytic perspective. Or I would have like a little boutique where you can come in and I will style your whole family and y'all can come out just looking cute. Nice, yeah. nice. <laughs> I just want to know, are you, are, I mean, can you still give us the, t the, the talk show or the, the pilot soon? I mean, I think, I, I think we deserve that. that. I've actually been working a Sure, sure. Aww. Thank you, thank you. Why is fashion so important? I think fashion is important to me. I think I get it from my grandmother. She has always been like dressed down. Sometimes I'll go in her closet because fashion is repeating itself. But she always tells me like people would treat you the way that you dress. Like she would always have all of her kids, no matter how much money she has, she would always have them in their Sunday's best. So I think that was passed down to me. And I just love the confidence that I get when I am dressed a certain way. People treat you differently, especially when you are a young professional, when you're a woman of color. Um, so fashion is so important to me because it speaks for me before I can even open my mouth. It, mm. it makes a statement. Yes, yes. Just like that, that jacket is a statement piece right now. Oh, thank you. And love. I can't take my eyes off of it. <laughs> How do you keep track of all your appointments? Oh my gosh, I don't. <laughs> I be double booking and everything. I have to text people back and say, I'm so sorry, can we push that to the next Wednesday? But no, typically what I have to do is write it down in multiple spots. I have it in my phone, I have it in my computer calendar, then I write it down because I'm a, I'm a millennial and we still like pen and paper. Um, and then I have a home calendar so my husband knows, so he doesn't plan anything around that. Uh, so I just have to um, set myself up for success and write it down in multiple places, give myself little reminders and prompts. Y'all, I got myself on a whole behavior plan. <laughs> We're going to take it back just a little bit for us. Um, what was your first job? My first job, believe it or not, let me sit down for this one. I worked at the zoo, and I was a dolphin trainer. I'm just playing. <laughs> I was not a dolphin trainer, but I did work at the zoo for my very first job. Okay, okay. Yeah, I actually told a story about that in one of my trainings, Secure the Bag, about how I got fired from that job. And it motivated me and fueled me ever since then to just get the bag, secure the bag. What was your first job in your field? My first job in the field was working um, with adults with dual diagnosis and intellectual disability. What's your favorite song, Dom? My favorite song is, I love music. I love all genres. Um, but I'm gonna have to go to gospel and I'll take it to um, Running Back to You by Commission. Nice. I, yeah. I don't think I heard that one. I might have to play that one I get in there. It's Fred Hammond all day. Okay. But that's when he was in the group Commission. Okay. And Fred Hammond is my uncle in my head. No. So, uh, so I'm, I'm real churchy. No, you okay. <laughs> spread the gospel. <laughs> What's most important to you in life? Most important to me yes. right now, um, my relationship with God. Um, I've always had one, but um, I've had one because my parents told me to have one or I'm supposed to have one, but now I'm seeking him for myself. Um, my family and my peace. I never realized how much or how precious Absolutely. my peace was. Absolutely, that's that's huge. I, we love peace. We do. Be, we need it. Be oh, peaceful. We need it. <laughs> if you want peace, be peaceful. Um, yeah. <laughs> Tell us something that people might not know about you. Um, something that people might not know about me is. Um, my sister is my best friend, and she and I, we um, both are content creators. We love hanging out together. Um, she is right here. Well, hello. And, and this girl stole my face. <laughs> she, stole, she stole my face. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, me and my sister, we always love to hang, and she's a content creator, but we got our own lanes, and um, we support each other. We do. So nice. it's always good to have you a content creator. A business bestie, somebody's gonna keep hold you accountable. Has support black businesses. Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna sit right here with you. That's cool. And just you know, go to the concert. 
what can we expect from Dom, the BCBA mom? Huh. So I'm just going to speak it into fruition, right? So what to expect from me is definitely more trainings. I love training, I love teaching, and I love entertaining, which is different. So expect ABA trainings and content and non-ABA trainings that are going to be so impactful, um, entertaining, engaging, innovative, like you've never seen before. Um, what else? I can see myself at a university teaching. Like I said, I love teaching. Um, I can see myself teaching at an HBCU. I want to do speaking engagements all over the world. I want to disseminate the science all over the world within the science and across other disciplines and across other organizations. Because as we know, ABA can be applied to almost any setting. Um, let's say I want to teach, um, I want to direct, I want to act. I want to go to Hollywood, I want to be in Broadway, like I want to be in a musical where I could just stop and say, da, 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 the music just goes, is that too much? This is literally, <laughs> ask my sister, that is that, literally, this is my life, yes. this is what I want for my life, so yes. maybe I can just like create my own pilot where like, down the BCB is walking and then all of a sudden, <laughs> she's like, hey, no, you can exit that out. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's it. I mean, I feel like there's so much more to expect from me because I'm a visionary. I'm a creative. I love helping people. I feel like I was placed on this earth to disseminate and to share, to share the gospel, to share my gift. So I'm just going to keep giving my gift yes. in whatever form that comes about. Dom, we thank you. Thank you for the 20 questions. Thank you for your time. It was great learning all of this information from you and we expect to see so much more from you thank you for stopping by tp all right but you gotta go now